Um, and that's what I was saying. Anytime a person manipulates food for the purpose of weight loss, they are on a diet. It's also important to know that approximately 25 to 30 percent of people seeking weight loss treatments um, have binge eating disorders. So they're going for the absolutely the wrong treatment. Um, remember at the very beginning when I read to you that um, Facebook post of the woman who said I'm out of control, the anonymous post. So I want to come back to that because you know everybody comments and in the comments was comment after comment of you should do this diet, you should do that diet. And that's what we have happening here. We have people with eating disorders being given the advice from friends, from family, but even from professionals to embark on another diet. Within a, thin, within a diet and thin focus culture, the focus has been on weight loss as the goal. This treatment is often promoted by well-intentioned friends, family, and professionals. But with binge eating, dieting is a causal factor in the development of binge eating disorder. So it's essential for treatment to provide alternatives to dieting for improving health and body image. In fact, weight loss as a goal of treatment, as opposed to goals of improved self-care, can be damaging to the process of recovery. And this was from the Binge Eating Disorder Association. I want you to think back for a moment to our definition, the DSM definition of binge eating disorder. Did you notice that it said nothing about weight? There was nothing in there about size. So I said that earlier that people can be higher weight and not have binge eating disorder. People can be lower weight and have binge eating disorder. Um, recovery from binge eating disorder is not contingent on a certain weight or weight loss. And yet many providers are still expecting, and, and as well as our clients, weight loss to be part of recovery. So we'll talk a lot more about that later today and tomorrow. All right, so I want to start to talk about this issue. I've, I've mentioned several times deprivation is one of the triggers for overeating and binging. And I want to talk a little bit about how that works. So I call this the military.